At last, Abenomics has a face. Haruhiko Kuroda is the man charged with bringing inflation back to Japan. Mr. Kuroda, 68, has been nominated as the next governor of the central bank. A fluent English speaker, he is a well-known figure internationally. President of the Asian Development Bank and a career bureaucrat at Japan's powerful Ministry of Finance, he has advocated looser monetary policy for years. The aim is to rid Japan once and for all of the deflation that has been nibbling at prices since the late 1990s. By recent Bank of Japan standards, Mr. Kuroda is a radical. He insists the central bank has the power to bring mild deflation through the magic of monetary policy. The current governor, Masaki Shirakawa, frequently stressed the limits of monetary policy in addressing what he considered the structural causes of deflation. Mr. Kuroda, who studied at Tokyo and Oxford universities, will be expected to inject fresh vigour into the central bank's communication strategy. Part of his job will be to explain to a Japanese public why rising prices are a good thing. Living standards have been preserved partly as a result of falling prices, and some people are wary of sudden change. Under him, the central bank is likely to purchase longer-term government bonds, corporate paper and exchange-traded funds as part of a new quantitative easing push. The aim will be to bring 2% inflation as quickly as possible and dig Japan out of what economists call a liquidity trap. A Kuroda-led central bank is not expected to buy foreign bonds, since that could be construed as an explicit attempt to drive the yen lower. Before any of this can happen, he needs to be confirmed. That will mean gaining opposition support in the upper house. Only then will Mr. Kuroda be able to put the Bank of Japan's money where the new governor's mouth is. David Pilling, Financial Times, in Hong Kong.